mga pops, uh, welcome back. So welcome back, shoutout season tayo mga pups, no? So habang ginagawa uh, pa natin yung mga content natin So ang gagawin natin ngayong hapon So uh, manunood lang tayo, reaction uh, video tayo ngayon Sa video ni uh, Master Makina Makina Yung eh, Honda ADV Honda ADV 150, uh, sa pagkakalam ko Na-release siya noong uh, last September September, September 2019 sa pagkakaalam ko, no? So, reaction, reaction lang tayo. Hindi, hindi ko pa nakita to personally. Okay, so, uh, hindi ko pa nakita personally itong uh, motor na to called the uh, ADV 150. So, reaction muna, reaction na uh, meet muna tayo. At the same time, um, Shout out, no? Shout, shout out natin tayo, tika, ano pa nangyari? Hmm, okay, 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 so, ayun, wait, 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 okay, so, uh, shout out tayo sa mga gutong mag-shout out, syempre, uh, uh, syempre, uh, ano lang, type na kayo sa screen para ma-shout out kayo sa mga gusto din magpa, you know, akap-akap, gusto magpayakap na ayan type lang sa, sa chat natin tsaka ibabalik ko lang agad unahan nyo at uh, ibabalik ko agad so let's go guys uh, habang uh, uh, tumatakbo yung oras pisaan natin yung manood alam ko marami sa atin ito na nakakita na ito sa personal pro ako hindi ko pa nakita kasi ito personally so let's go guys watch uh, makinas video Sanda Ah, uh, ADV X150 hindi ko pa rin hindi ko pa nakita. Hindi pa rin na hindi pa nakita personally. So, shout <laughs> Dinilaan Dinilaan pa Anong lasa boss Mara. Nasa Malaysia ako noon Noon pumutok yung balita Lumabas na yung Honda ADV 150 Sa Indonesia Kagulong lahat noon At sa totoo lang Hindi ko talaga alam Kung kailan ang labas ng ADV 150 Sa Pinas Sa mga panahon na yun Hindi ko pa Pati yung mga kapwa natin, mga international media, wala rin silang balita kung Last kailan lalabas yung Honda ADV sa kanila mga bansa. Pero yun nga, ilang buwan ang lumipas at nai-launch so, na rin yung motor sa atin. Ko. Bakit nga ba kaabang-abang itong motor na ito? Suriin natin. Ang tawag ko sa motor na ito ay isang MMM or Minimi Motor. Kung baga, kung may CBR1000R, meron din CBR150R. Pero marami ng ganun eh at sanay na tayo sa ganun. Ito nakakatuwa kasi gumawa sila ng Minimi ng XADV750. So, napaka-fresh ng dating nito sa automatic small displacement segment. Parang hindi pa ata ito available dito sa amin eh. cc single overhead cam it would have been nice if it was double overhead cam that's just me it's liquid cooled fuel injected with twin shocks and telescopic forks for the wheels we are at 13 inches at the rear and 14 at the front it's got abs with power at 14.7 hp Sagad top speed with a limiter it can reach around 120 kph sa daan, pag may rider na, I hit 118 kph. So, malapit na rin siya sa sagad niya. I weigh 170 pounds at 6 feet. The smaller and lighter you are, you will reach your top end faster. Hand 
handling of the Honda ADV is neither sporty nor will it be as agile as compared to a Honda Beat or Click. But I do feel more aggressive in the corners with this compared to the PCX. At kung gusto ko pa talaga tulakin yung mga kanto, magpapalit na ako ng shocks at gulong. Which got me thinking, despite its sporty adventurous looks, the suspension and handling is geared more for touring rather than tumbling about in the rough. Unlike its older sibling, the X ATV 750, yun I got to try for 10 days in Malaysia. Baragan yun. And I could tell then how the X ADV 750 can really handle some rough roads. Eto, the ADV 150, it's like a PCX pero mas bad boy. Mas brusco. Wow. Mas bastos. The PCX naman is well-mannered and gentleman But I'm just talking looks here, not engine-wise. Let's talk about lines of the ADV 150. Obviously, this is a mini-me version of the XADV 750. This is not just a simple scaled-down version. Hindi lang siya basta parang yung pinaliitan lang. There are obvious differences. Like with the XADV, when you look at it, since yung line dito, dere direct to swing arm, there's this mahaba look with the XADV, right? Dito, unlike the XADV as you can see, and just like the smaller displacement scooters of Honda, iba nga mas lagpas pa, pero ito, naka-align siya all the way down here sa axle ng wheel, right? It's aligned. So, meron siyang, kung hindi man nakalabas yung gulong like the XADV, ito naman, parang ito yung lumabas dito. Another obvious difference, hindi mo makikita yung linya na diretso dito doon sa swing arm, not like the XADV. So, that's an obvious difference. But for the face, it's, it's there, and then yung Yeah. One of the reasons why it was called an XADV, if you look again at the picture here of the bigger version, back, back, right? There, you see the X? Parang ganun yung dating niya with this version here. Meron din siya dito, which I'm wondering why they didn't call this an XADV 150. But that's just me. I like looking at cues and lines, right? Let's do it again. Shhh. X. Now, another thing about the lines of the ADV, one of the reasons I yeah. feel also why it looks so, nice and beefy personal, and big with these angular lines, it's how they taper things off. Personal. Like, for example, here, you'll only see this part here when you're in this part of the bike, <clears> not <throat> when you're on the side like so. It's not like prominent, diba? It looks uh, like it's just one huge bulky thing. But of yeah. course, when you go now on this side, you'll realize that the reason why that is so is to accommodate your legs but the thing is when you go up here the mm -hmm. lines spread out like that that's what makes it nice and big so it looks like a nice wine glass very like accepting very inviting it's wow and when you look at it from the front it, it looks nice and big and beefy in design school by the way sa hindi nakakaalam like industrial design ako there's such a thing as a wow. uh, infinite diminishing si perspective or something like that. So you have some certain lines that will just go way out. So it's spreading the sides. As opposed to diretso lang siyang ganun. Pak, pak, pak. Ito yun yun. Boom. Boom. So we got Showa Shocks over there. I would say tono niya is, it's not as stiff as some other scoots that I have experienced. It's a bit spongy. Pero hindi siya spongy na CRF 150 level. If you think about it, para siyang alanganin na off-road capable. Pwede, but definitely it's more on-road. I was tempted to really slug it out in some light trails, pero parang nahihinaya ko, ay ayoko magasgas yung, yung ilalim, di ba? I mean, pag ganito yung motor mo, di ba? Parang ayaw ko siya off-road eh. Although, if you take a look at the tires, dual sport siya. Even though, dual sport. kaganyan yan. Problema lang dito, hindi ko kung mag-off-road ako, o di, mag-CRF 150 na ako, di ba? So let's open the gas tank. tank. It's uh, really easy. Put it in place, press the fuel, fuel and that thing just pops up, right? So this is not as solid as I would want it to be. I mean, it's moving about. But when it's in place, naman, even though you can move it like that, and parang feeling mo may kalampag, hindi naman siya kumakalampag. Dahil meron siyang spring sa loob and it's pushing it upwards. See? <coughs> gas tank. Ta -da. Wait, kailan ba ito na-release? And now over on this January one, ang vid sa January one side make compartment dito. You just gotta push it, and it's gonna open. Now how do you deal with this? Hindi siya pwede yung tipong kaganon mo lang siya. It's not gonna close. Pwede mo lakasan. And then it's gonna work, but you don't wanna do that all the time. Para kung galit parate, di ba? Oh, kila ako na sa lang compartment. Wag. What you gotta do is, if you wanna close it, just push again, gently. See? Nice. What I also notice about this, the hinges. There's kind of some play going on here. 
and it's similar to the fuel as I pointed out. So these two things have a moving thing going on. Is it an issue though? Not really. Pag umaandar ka, syempre, siguro di mo sa tatay to kong tigal. Gagalo-galo siya ganyan. Ito rin. Just push it. This one you gotta push. So what can you put here? You can put your phone in here. At meron din siya charging port. Here's the charging port. Spring loaded din siya. Yeah, that's the whole compartment there. For reference, let me try to put my chinelas. See, just for reference. So let's take a look what's under the seat. Isn't that nice, huh? With spring loaded, got some spring action going on over here. Pretty spacious. Let's see if a full face comes. No. Try. You can't put it the other way around because it's not going to Let's try it this way then. Nope. Let's try. Yun. <coughs> Half face is good. So you can put a half face here, a whole bunch of stuff here too. Mga rain jacket ninyo or whatever. For reference, apart from the helmet. So, that's my leg. Uh -huh. Check out the gauge. So this gauge has two buttons. Here and here. So going through these switches, starting off with uh, your average fuel consumption with trip mm -hmm. A. Hit it again, that's your battery yeah, performance. Yeah. Hit it again, that's your outside I temperature right now. So 36 niyo, napaka init. Average fuel consumption may, with may trip B. You can reset it by pressing this long enough. And boom. So it's nice and modern, and it's not that big. It's compact yet maximized naman yung layout niya for the whole space of the gauge. So, and dami information eh, diba? You can see a lot going on here, which is great. Now, as for the windscreen, I'm digging this. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think in this segment, ito pa lang yung meron tayong adjustable. So all you gotta do is to pull these out, and you can put it down, like so, if you wanna put it up. There you go. So what I like about this, it's as high as my chest. Hindi siya kasing laki ng, let's say, you know, ganyang mga windscreen na alanganin. I like this because it's really deflecting wind over your head. But you know what? Honestly, I, I'm not a big fan of windscreens. Kung pwede kong tanggalin, tatanggalin ko. Kaya natutuwa ako na pwede mo itong ibaba. Like so. Okay. Done. LED lights at the rear. LED at the front, of course. That's your bright right there. Panels are snapped into place. It's not moving about. Nice and solid. Super plastic. So taking a look at our nice seat over here, I would say this is pretty good. Ilang, you know, ilang quality. Forget kaya. that. Yung mancha na yan gali nito sa maungko. I don't know what happened there. Sabol na katapat niya. Now stitching is in good shape. I don't see any gilid-gilid na weird na stitching. Maayos naman siya. I like how it's two tones. Some two tone seats they don't look good, but this one looks nice. Yung fabric na ginamit dito hindi pipitchugin. Misa tinipit. Ayos siya. Now for my legs, I am six feet tall. I wanted this little part to be further back kasi mahaba yung legs ko ng konti. So I felt I was a bit more on the forward side. So if you're shorter or you have shorter legs than me, then siguro sakto lang. But naalala ko kasi experience ko with the XADV 750. Eh, syempre iba naman yan. Mas mahaba yan for taller people, I guess. But this one is also okay lang. If I were gonna modify the seat, at least for me, I would shave this part pa atras ng konti and just stretch the fabric back again. But it's just a minor thing. Nothing serious on my end. Now, as we look at the switches and the grips and the bar ends here, all of this, I dig. This does not feel cheap. Cheap. This does not feel cheap. The plastics here are also very good quality. Hindi siya yung mga fall short switches na parang nipis na marupok na plastic. Okay siya. Same story here as well. Good quality with the switches. Handlebars Siyempre, also um, very good quality. Ito yata yung pinaka-highest uh, variant. Sarap ito eh ng handlebar. Mm. If there's anything that I would say is not at par with the rest of this stuff over here, side view mirror, okay rin naman siya, but I would have preferred. Meron kasi mas sticker <laughs> type ganun ito eh. Talagang uh, solid yung pakaramdam. This is, I would say, regular. I mean, compared to this kasi, parang up the game lahat dito. Parang lahat na masyado pati nga. But you know, kind of just nitpicking. Plastic-wise din ito, for yeah, me, oops. this is not up to par with everything yeah. else. This is your regular side view mirror. So yeah, kung meron akong papalitan dito, it would probably be the mirrors. I would prefer nice, robust, sporty round ones as opposed to this shape. Okay. So another safety feature for the Honda, meron silang tinatawag natin ESS or yes. Emergency Stop Signal. So pag nag-emergency brake up, well, it's gonna come from the ABS out in front. Kung bigla kang nag-brake, Ang, alam mo yung 
Bah, nag-break ka talaga ng mabilis. It's gonna send a signal to the back and you're gonna get uh, flashing lights at the rear. So it's a visual cue. So yung tao sa likod mo, ah, bigla siya nag-break. So that's called ESS. So right now, we're gonna talk about the key. We got three buttons yeah, over here. The first one is pag marami na kayong ADV sa parking lot at nalilito ka na, alin yung sayo? Well, press this one. And that's your bike right there. So our next button is the second one right now and that is basically the alarm. You press it once. You can hear a beep. And another one. And that means your alarm is now engaged. You're going to see a red light coming out there blinking. See that? There. So in case meron mag kang magnakaw ng beloved, the ADV mo, your alarm is now engaged. Like so. Let's turn it off. And the third button right now is basically what connects this key to that so you can turn the bike on. So let's press it. It's blinking red, which means it's not connected to the starter. Even if you try to turn it, it won't even turn. So you got to press it long so that thing turns green. Check. Okay. Again. So now you can turn this thing on and now you can twist it. Everything turns blue. There you go. And another way to tell also, you'll see that yellow light over there with the same symbol as this. That means you are connected, baby. If that thing's not there, hindi ito maandar. Sa syudad, bigyan mo yung sarili mo ng konting ride time to get used to its size. Pero makakasuot naman siya pag masama na talaga yung traffic. Hindi nga lang kasing galing ng Honda Click tsaka Beat. Pero wala eh. Mas pogi ito eh. Kaya okay lang sa akin ng mas konting dagdag na effort pag masikip na yung traffic. Magandang umaga, S-Lex! Let's see how the ADV fares rush hour. Tapos na lang tayo sa masikip. Ito na po ang patinding traffic. Just past Ayala Avenue and sa Lina. So yun po natin, the seat height. Medyo mas matangka tayo sa karamihan. So sa driver ng Hyundai Tarex, halos kasing tangkad ko siya. What I also like about this ADV is its very generous turning radius. Saka kaya parang ang gaang ng dating niya, the handlebars are nice and wide. So maganda yung leverage niya. Hindi mo kailangan nice kwelsan masyado. Maganda yung leverage. Right, Sid? Right, Just like sir. that. That's what I mean. Gasoline consumption, I got a decent 34.158 kpl. And this is in wild wall mode and really bad traffic. Di ako nagtipid mode at all. For the brakes, let's try the rear. Medyo malakas, 34 guys, 34 liters per ano. Now mind you, for the rear brakes, you have to really squeeze it for you to get some fish shell action. Otherwise, like a pump, a stop lang kayo using the rear. Wala naman lock. Pero kung pipigay natin, So that's the rear situation. Now the front, slowly first. More aggressive. ABS is working fine. Bit more speed now. Okay, ABS is working great. Ayus. Ayus. Now let's go to a slippier situation. So this area is a bit more painted. Let's try some rear. Let's try the front in this situation. I can actually hear a rank. So you can hear the ABS kicking in, not just the duk 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 duk, but it's like a rank. Get out to me by ABS. Yo, no. Yeah, you hear that? That's the ABS kicking in too. So yeah, ABS working. Now again, as usual, it's gotta be both. That's the best way to use these brakes, man. Both. Ah. Great stopping power. Meron mga bagay-bagay na hindi natin makukuha kesyo mahirap o mayaman. May mayaman na malungkot, may mahirap na masaya. May mga nasa gitna naman na naghahanap ng kanilang kaligayahan din. Ang Honda ADV 150 ay isang tikim at subo na galing sa X ADV 750 na hindi lahat maaabot. Kamahalan din yun eh. Ganun talaga ang buhay. Yung sana oil, hanggang nun lang yun. Sana. So, ito ang Honda, nagbibigay ng mini-me version ng motor nilang X ADV 750. 
Makatarungan nga ba ang Honda ADV 150 at 149,000? Ang individual lang ang makakasagot niyan. Kung afford mo at di magugutom at so, kompromiso mo lang, go na agad. Depende pa yan sa lugar. Kung medyo challenge sa tayo sa budget mga... at datong, well, ika nga ni Donna Delilah kay Johnny, magsumikap ka. Kung gusto mo talaga, gagawa ka ng paraan. Okay ang ADV 150 at kasi may na ABS si dahil na. New ano kaya kung yung uh, walang Another ABS? show of innovation and design that Meron resonates kaya? why Honda is number one overall in motor sales around the world. This is Zach from Makina Moto Features na nagsasabing laging tandaan, lahat tayo'y mamamatay din. Ciao! Lahat tayo'y mamamatay din. <coughs> wow! And that... Anyway, may ano pa? Yan. Ah, wow. Nice. Nice, uh, nice one. Nice na motor. Nice na motor, guys. Ah, uh, hindi ko pa nga nakita yung ito, yung uh, itong 750 na yung version nito. <coughs> hindi ko pa rin ito nakita dito sa Mindanao. Kasi ang um, mga kaalam ko, last September pa ito na available sa Pilipinas eh. So, yun uh, na, naghanap ako dito sa Lamao, hindi ko pa nakita. Wala pa akong makita. So, kailangan, kailangan kaya ito maging available dito. Para ma-check naman natin, no? So, sa lahat ng mga nanood, no? uh, sa gustong magpa-shoutout, chat-chat nyo lang guys sa chat natin. Uh, at sa yung mga gusto magpa-cap, uh, type nyo lang, unahan nyo, ibabalik ko rin agad. Okay? Saka may chat lang ako sa messenger. May nag-message. So, yeah, may mga, may mga content pa tayo. Inaayos lang. Inihinit natin. Inihinit na natin. Para mas maganda sa panahonin. Sino ka ba? So, maraming salamat guys sa mga sumama sa pagpanood uh, ano sa sumama sa akin na nanood sa video ni Boss Makina salamat ADV September na release dito sa, Min, uh, sa Pilipinas pero sa Mindanao wala pa akong nakita uh, hindi pa siguro siya available dito sa Mindanao gusto ko siya makita if in person at saka ma-test ma na rin diba? sino ba ang ayaw medyo mahal siya ano, uh, medyo mahal siya 149k wow medyo taas taas rin siguro pag sa may dito sa Mindanao mga 160 170 siguro to. ang tanong ko lang kung meron bang ADV um, Honda ADV wala non-ABS Meron ba siya? Yun lang ang tanong. Or tanong, tanong, tanong natin kay uh, Uncle Kiko. <coughs> Parang wala pa ata ito. Parang isang version lang. Walang ano. Puro lahat ba, ano? May, uh... Uh, 
Holy sa ano sa meron siya guys, meron siyang uh, Nani Bias. Nani Bias. Pero nakalagay dito ang presyo niya. Sabi ni Boss Makina 1 uh, 149. Pero sabi dito sa Top Gear, so it's not Top Gear. Priceprice.com. Um with EBS nagkakalaga ng 130. No, no. Oh, yeah, 134. Pero yung uh, itong Nanibias 130. So, 4,000 lang ang binaba sa Nanibias. Posible naman, no? So, posible na meron nga talaga na merong uh, Honda ADV Nanibias. Check na natin Honda. Honda, Honda Philippines. So, meron nga. Kasi <coughs> medyo mahal yung 149 uh, EBS EBS Honda IDV So check lang natin dito sa Honda Philippines guys Mayroon ba talaga Sa anong kategorya kayo sa na, ano? Siyempre scooter siya di ba? Hindi naman siya underbone Kasi po nakabigla nakalagay naman dito na ano sa kalang wait lang ha ADB 150 kung mayroon ba siyang yun lang ang tinatanong kung mayroon ba siyang uh, without yes yun o no? yun o no? yun lang ang tanong ko guys DV 149 nga Ang tanong ko kung meron ba siyang non-ABS Non-ABS na variant Kung wala Talaga 149 yung uh, Abutin natin <coughs> Wala siya ano no? So Wala nga ADV 150 Meron kaya sa top gear kaya mayroon sa out of age na yung nakapan kaya sa so check na natin wala wala akong nakalagay ng ABS ganda o oh. ganda o makita to sa ano sa personal Kita sa personal to <coughs> Manila price 149 nga Nakalagay dito Sa Zig Wheels Wala 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 siguro guys Walang Nani BS Wala akong mahanap eh. <coughs> Nani BS Uy website wala rin so wala dili dili eh hindi na ko paliton nagatanaw lang ko nagatanaw lang nindot man nindot pa uh, so. kumusta man boss now JK in the house shout out to now JK thank you so much for dropping by dude how's your streaming man how's your streaming yan ka pa ka na ata okay. so, 
महीना हो बोला कि गाइस सो सलामत पेरो मस महलंगनो कोंडा एडीसी 750 अन 750 पर मने शा करिंग तनी मिनी मिनी वर्जन सा होंडा एडीबी 150 आ 750 अन कबोटन दे सा फिलिपिन प्राइस 799 ini 750 version mini mi man go disha mini version bago lang release ba last uh, september <coughs> ano wala na magka stream saya kaya to ang setup nga guapo kayo tong PC wala na ang stream Ayo. Ano gastrin mo ko biya pong pasay sa Facebook. Pasay sa Twitch. Pero sa Twitch ko na mga isang oras na ko na gastrin Twitch. Sa Facebook mga isa o sa ikulong ka oras. <coughs> Papuno mo gudang ko doon ang uh, by day, daylight na na chay sariling ko ba? Sariling sariling ano sariling uh, server. Mini version ba yo stack mini version. Mini mini version siya pro pressure delay yo. Ang say ang Honda ADV 750 na sa 800. Sa mura sak sak kanan. Ah, ling ling yo pro dua. Ito yung ginagawa sa ikapot ng Ipex Gapon Ipex Oh, nanan sila ikon doon Nanan sila yung mga server doon uh, Ang PC Ang PS4 niya Incoming ang Xbox Nanan sila yung sariling server So, hindi rin na kayo lag modula ka always green dito siya always green so dili na siya player base or killer base ang uh, parang yung kalingawan ko <coughs> daghan may libre sa PS4 nga nagayang Apex pero isod pa kayo yung game kung sa PS4 LGS so tama na LGS Apex ko na siya Apex uh, contest Sa sa ng kwan Yung grand ka Apex kan Yung grand ka Apex E LGS na lang Kasi katimap map mo si Lakwan Kasi katimap map mo si Or gusto mo na siya single or squad <coughs> Squad ang ano Anyway ga, anyway daw Good luck, good luck, good luck Good luck sa appeal Kung saan na? Asian Games? Pro Global na magod siya, di ba? Asian lang na siya or world na kay Global naman, Global Series Global Series Squad 3 Indot na, indot Siya may company mo Kasi ikaw ba niyo mga magdua? Wala 
wala pa po nimo na paila sila. Wala na wala, may problema na. Imong yabo ko kabalo mga dulog, i-fix ay. Dai layo kayo ang delay ambot nga no man eh. Basta ambot sa sa pangayan sa BS. Yes, kanin siya na yung problema <coughs> Delay niya ba? Ubiyas, magunin ang studio ang akong gamit ron <laughs> Ba't nga nung delay kayo or ang setting nyo sa sa kwan? <coughs> Stream lagi kita muta tau bang tu. Mestrim ka? Ah mau lagi platform. Mestrim mengut ka? Jeli kamu kawan? Jeli kamu tinggok ke? Tulis English mengut mengut. Semixer. Mau apa? Boleh delay? Nice na yung kwande Pero lisod mo kayo magkakuha tag kwande ito Lisod Lisod na magkakuha ka ng viewers dito Hindi mo biya ka dito kagikan Saya lisut, pun saya lisut. Boleh angkat di situ. Tapi di situ mana lagi kan? Tengah nak kena macam di situ. Kena macam si Israel di situ si Ninja. Uy, paasa ka kasugot Kasi mga magapaasa Mga viewers O si Mixer mismo na yung nasa ay Paasa sa'yo mo nila nga hindi ka kuhan nalikuha nila so ginatry gina siguro nila nga ano <coughs> ginatry nila ang um, okay ba magsugod ko balik sa Twitch kay gusto ko magbalik ko ka ng upload ng mga content sa akong gaming channel kay sa Facebook mga kung download mo pangit kayo ang iyahang resolution pag-download din mo sa kuhan 
Facebook, imong uh, ano, broadcast bangit. So naga naga stream ko wala sa sa Twitch. Na isa oras. Para mga ko ako kan ba. So good ng Oligo ro niya pa. Di ko magsuko. Okay, pwede ni mo siya diretso upload sa YouTube. Lagi? Okay. Mayroon na ang kuwan. Mayroon na ang, ang, ang kusog sa 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 kuwan, sa Facebook ka ng mga mahilig mga giveaway. Kala agaw na giveaway. Labi na sa kanang kuwan. Mobile Legends. Saka na taga kay viewers. Mobile Legends ka dito. Naimutan na. Mingon na yun. Okay, giveaway. Ano na yan ba? Hindi talaga yun. Ha, kutubili siya. Nihala! Out na ko. Out na ko kahit kung ako. Sa oras ang papit. Ah, but Mahalan dito sa kuwan sa <coughs> sa kuwan sa Facebook. Kung naka-mahire ka as as talent. Ma, labi nag mahire ka sa um, apply. Ito ang um, apply. Si kon ganin si <coughs> Si Andy Bas, si Andy Bas. Sa Australia. Si Ben Asgood. Kung naman siya, talent naman siya sa Amplay. Amplay? Amplay. Talent naman siya sa Amplay. So, ano ito? Ano siya? Hindi <coughs> na kayo malagat. Kung i-chat, hindi naman malagat. <coughs> so, balik kong pitch. Hindi mo ko pimenti doon dito. Pero mag-con ako. Ano na kayo i-upload sa Kwan ba sa YouTube? Nalagyan ng tag na ako ay lindos na PC kaya pula po Apex Kaya lindos na PC ko Kanya Oo, magkuha na ta kay Oo, kuha na siya, kuha na si ano Si Andy Bas Talent na siya Dago na, dago na po na yung followers sa Facebook around kong siguro ito pinang 1,000 adili man ako ang bulo kong patutot basig busy lang po okay isa ko balik kong twitch na hinay lang kong hindi ko mag grind tayo ano 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 lingaw lingaw na langkot hindi ka mag aimog ka ng kwan hindi ka mag aimog ka ng kato na imuhang kwan di ay kato na imuhang kwan dito sa page tayo na kay earnings no hindi mo makuha siya ang tigil siya mabuto 100 so pabuto siya hindi mo 100 except kung mo na mahawa ka as affiliate Ayatang ito nila yung mukhang earnings na wala ka mong tukunan ito. Lagi, mag-email na po ka sa admin. Ayan, tara! So, out ako. Or suman, nalagay pa mong kaya. na mag-100. Ah, congrats eh. Oh, wala ito kaabot. Wala, wala kayo kaabot 20. Oh, wala ito kaabot 20. Yan na. Yan na. Tira lang ito sa Facebook. Wala 
Salamat kayo sa pag-graph by Diyos. Salamat kayo. Alright guys, salamat sa pag-graph by. Salamat sa mga nanood. Shout out. Thank you and have a nice day guys. Have a nice day. Bye.